Car and motorcycle enthusiasts are probably familiar with the popular American reality show, Iron Resurrection, and many of them are dedicated fans. For those who aren't acquainted with it, the show features passionate vehicle restorers led by Joe Martin and his skilled team who specialize in rejuvenating bikes and cars that are in desperate need of restoration. Among his crew members is his wife, Amanda Martin, who is just as passionate about vehicle restoration and is considered the brains behind the operation. But why did Amanda leave the show? Could it be connected to Joe? What really happened to her on the Iron Resurrection show? Let's delve into the details and find out. Amanda Martin Born on December 11, 1973, in Red Oak, Texas, USA, Amanda Jill Keithley, who is now better known as Amanda Martin, has a fascinating background that adds depth to her role in Iron Resurrection. While there isn't an abundance of information available online regarding her parents, it is known that her late father, Zechariah J. Keithley Jr., was a U.S. Army veteran who passed away in November 2006. Amanda grew up in a close-knit family alongside her siblings, Zach, Sandra, and Wendy. Amanda's early years were spent in Red Oak, Texas, where she shared her upbringing with three siblings, all of whom attended the local Red Oak High School. After completing her high school education, the specifics of her college journey remain shrouded in mystery. However, it is known that her academic pursuits were centered around finance-related studies. Following her educational endeavors, Amanda embarked on a professional career that led her to Plano, Texas, where she joined the ranks of Wells Fargo, a prominent player in the banking and financial services industry. At Wells Fargo, Amanda's trajectory was nothing short of impressive. Over time, she ascended through the corporate hierarchy, eventually assuming the esteemed role of bank manager within this industry giant. Wells Fargo, with a sprawling presence encompassing offices across the United States, boasts a substantial financial prowess, consistently ranking among the Fortune 500's top earners and managing assets, exceeding a staggering $2 trillion. In this arena, it competes head-to-head -head with industry titans such as J.P. Morgan Chase, ICBC, Bank of America, and Citigroup. Amanda's tenure at Wells Fargo spanned an impressive five years, during which she not only contributed significantly to the company's operations, but also amassed substantial wealth herself. After her remarkable stint at Wells Fargo, Amanda ventured into new territory finding her professional home at Pioneer Bank in Austin, Texas. This marked a transition to a smaller-scale banking institution compared to her previous corporate giant. However, Amanda's extensive experience and expertise in the financial sector proved invaluable. Her journey at Pioneer Bank began with her appointment as the assistant vice president, a role she admirably fulfilled for two years. Her dedication and prowess, then paved the way for her promotion to the esteemed position of Vice President of Deposit Operations, a role she carried with distinction for another two years before embracing her next challenge as product manager. In 2017, Amanda made a pivotal career decision, bidding farewell to her corporate office job and seeking new horizons. Coincidentally, this decision aligned with a significant milestone in her husband's life. Her spouse had recently emerged victorious in a televised competition, catapulting him into the limelight and affording him the attention and resources to embark on a thrilling entrepreneurial journey. Amanda, displaying unwavering support and unwavering confidence in her partner, joined forces with him to establish Martin Bros Customs. This venture, as the name implies, focused on the customization and resurrection of vehicles, breathing new life into aging and neglected automobiles. In this exciting endeavor, Amanda, Joe, and their two other essential partners, Jason Martin, Joe's brother, and Jason Arrington, a close family friend specializing in marketing, harnessed their collective talents, passion, and expertise. Together, they positioned Martin Bros Customs as a formidable presence in the realm of automotive customization and restoration. 
Amanda's transition from the world of finance to the exhilarating landscape of automotive customization marked a significant juncture in her professional journey. Her adaptability, strong work ethic, and entrepreneurial spirit shone brightly as she embraced fresh challenges. As a co-owner of Martin Bros Customs and a prominent figure in the world of vehicle restoration, she embarked on a captivating journey alongside her husband and business partners. When Amanda met Joe, she faced a pivotal crossroads in her professional journey. She made the bold decision to temporarily set aside her financial ambitions to embark on an exciting adventure alongside her husband. Amanda's transition into the world of television and entrepreneurship saw her becoming a regular cast member on Iron Resurrection, ultimately evolving into a co-owner of Martin Brothers Customs. Their new home base in Johnson City, Texas, served as the epicenter of their creative endeavors and business ventures, solidifying their reputation in the realm of car restoration. In addition to their thriving business, the Martins ventured into the world of merchandise, expanding their reach and allowing fans to connect with their brand. Iron Resurrection To propel their burgeoning business to new heights, the enterprising partners decided to pitch a television show concept to Velocity Network. Their pitch struck a chord with the network, ultimately leading to the birth of Iron Resurrection. In this captivating show, the dynamic couple, along with their talented team of restoration specialists, embark on thrilling quests in search of abandoned or damaged cars and motorcycles. Their mission? To breathe new life into these mechanical relics, meticulously restoring them to their former glory and, ultimately, transforming them into profitable assets. Iron Resurrection made its television debut in 2016, quickly capturing the hearts of automotive enthusiasts and catapulting Amanda Martin into the realm of fame, thanks to her engaging personality and striking appearance. The show's success has been nothing short of impressive. Spanning three thrilling seasons and a total of 23 riveting episodes. As they gear up for a highly anticipated fourth season, the team finds themselves crisscrossing the country, hunting for the next exciting project that will captivate viewers. Amid the spotlight and the triumphs of their television journey, the business itself has thrived, buoyed by the exposure and partnerships forged along the way. Their appearances at various prestigious car shows have allowed them to rub shoulders with a plethora of prospective clients and fellow automotive enthusiasts. The allure of Iron Resurrection has even attracted celebrity and high-profile clients. Among their recent endeavors, the team has undertaken impressive projects, including the meticulous restoration of a 1964 Lincoln Continental, the resurrection of a formidable Big Red Bobber, and the transformation of a timeless 1973 Pontiac Firebird. These remarkable feats have all had their moment in the spotlight, showcased on the very show that helped propel Martin Brothers Customs to prominence. But their work doesn't stop with restorations. They also engage in vehicle acquisitions and undertack a custom build's tail read to the unique budgets and preferences of their clients. Amanda Martin has been instrumental in promoting merchandise, featuring their company logo, providing fans and enthusiasts with a tangible connection to the brand. Moreover, their commitment to philanthropy shines through as some of their meticulously crafted car builds have gone on to be auctioned off for charitable causes, making a meaningful impact beyond the realm of automotive restoration. What makes Iron Resurrection different? One notable aspect of the Martins' approach to Iron Resurrection is their aversion to drama. Unlike some other car shops or workplaces, their team operates with a sense of camaraderie that's evident in the playful banter, jokes, and occasional pranks they share. However, this camaraderie is free of tension, excessive use of profanity, and undue stress. The reason for this harmonious work environment is quite straightforward. Joe Martin believes that they are not actors, and, as such, there's no need to manufacture drama for the sake of viewership, a task best suited for professionals in the entertainment industry. 
Another distinctive feature of the show is the approach to car restoration. Unlike programs that often emphasize over-the-top modifications and hot rodding, Iron Resurrection takes a different path. The cars featured on the show are not subjected to flashy and exaggerated enhancements. Instead, the team meticulously revives nearly dead automobiles, using authentic and modern components to breathe new life into them from the inside out. The pride they take in their work lies in creating vehicles that are not overly tricked out, but are built to last, ensuring many dependable years of driving for their owners. Personal Life Amanda's life is deeply intertwined with that of her husband, Joe Martin, although their private relationship remains largely shielded from the prying eyes of the public. Their connection runs deep, fostering a profound trust in one another, even within the realm of business, where partnerships can be particularly challenging. The genesis of their automotive empire can be traced back to Joe's victory in the Biker Build-Off competition, a prestigious event hosted by the Discovery Channel. This momentous win not only brought them recognition, but also provided the financial foundation to embark on their entrepreneurial journey together. In addition to their professional endeavors, the couple shares a family life centered around their three children. However, Amanda is vigilant about safeguarding her children's privacy, opting to shield them from excessive media exposure. The youngest member of their family has faced health challenges, having been diagnosed with cancer adding a layer of complexity to their personal journey. While their home base is located in Johnson City, Texas, their work frequently takes them on journeys across the country. The demands of their business require them to traverse the nation, seeking the next exciting project and engaging with clients and enthusiasts alike. What really happened? Amidst all the success and acclaim, a question lingers. What truly transpired with Amanda on the show? Many perceive Amanda Martin's role in Iron Resurrection as straightforward, but reality tells a different story. The triumph of Martin Bros owes much to her exceptional management acumen. Amanda made her mark on the television series Iron Resurrection as a vital part of the team. Beyond her entrepreneurial endeavors, each episode chronicled the crew's laborious efforts in repairing and reviving the numerous automobiles they encountered. Amanda's tenure on the show spanned an impressive 32 episodes, firmly establishing her as one of its longest-standing cast members. However, the star herself disclosed that both she and her husband harbored the desire to step away from the show and redirect their focus towards each other. The program's involvement in their personal lives had become quite significant. Additionally, the couple candidly expressed the challenges they faced in navigating newfound fame. Their lives had undergone a transformation for the better since ascending to television stardom. Yet the novelty of being approached by fans for autographs was an experience that felt somewhat surreal. Joe aptly described themselves as ordinary individuals who had stumbled upon a stroke of luck. Thus, one cannot help but wonder if there were other factors that played a role in the decision to conclude the show. Looking back to 2020, the future of Iron Resurrection grew uncertain when four cast members, Manny, Pampa, Cato, and Javier, chose to depart at the end of season three. Additionally, Motor Trend declined to discuss the show's fate, leaving fans in suspense until mid-2021 when new episodes finally became available for online viewing. Consequently, it appeared to be a dead end for everyone involved. Now, having left the show and her previous jobs, you might be wondering what Amanda is currently doing for a living. Amanda primarily generates income through her family's repair and fabrication business which is quite reasonable considering her background as a business owner. She holds a prominent role as one of the company's top executives, entitling her to a substantial share of the earnings. Furthermore, Martin Bros Customs has expanded into the realm of merchandise. Their website offers various items for fans to purchase, including a $25 FlexFit Martin Bros hat and a $20 ladies' caddy tee, among other items.
This merchandise line has allowed Amanda and her family to supplement their income, with Amanda Martin's estimated net worth standing at approximately $300,000. Considering all the details we've discussed about their current lives, it's clear that the stars of the show, Joe and Amanda, are currently thriving both personally and professionally. Their latest projects at the shop include the restoration of a 57 Chevy, which had been abandoned in a backyard for over two decades, a rundown 65 Pontiac and a 65 Catalina. This workload ensures that the Martin Bros. customs team will stay busy in the foreseeable future. When they're not immersed in filming, the couple has been actively engaged in promoting their craft. They've recently participated in events like the classic truck and motorcycle show hosted by Devil's Backbone Tavern and the Emerald Coast Cruising event. These gatherings have provided them with opportunities to network, attract new clients, and even sell some merchandise. In addition to their professional endeavors, Amanda has been actively involved in philanthropic work over the past few months. Notably, she played a significant role in raising over $20,000 for St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital during Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. This cause holds a special place in her heart, as her nephew Luke battles a plastic glioma, an aggressive form of brain cancer, and receives vital assistance from St. Jude after being turned away from a Dallas hospital. Amanda has been diversifying her interests and exploring new hobbies, such as taking up target practice and hitting the gym for workouts. While she tends to keep her personal life out of the spotlight during TV appearances and interviews, fans who want to stay updated on the life of this lovely Texan can do so by following her on social media. Before we wrap up this video, let's check out some interesting facts about Amanda Martin that you might not know. She is a dedicated dog person. Amanda's love for animals extends beyond her busy career and into her personal life. While she has an affinity for all animals, it's dogs that hold an extra special place in her heart. She thoroughly enjoys spending quality time with her furry companions, and her beloved dogs have become the stars of her Instagram profile, where she shares heartwarming moments and adventures with her four-legged family members. But Amanda's compassion for animals doesn't stop at home. She is equally passionate about making a positive impact on the lives of dogs in need. As an advocate for animal welfare, she actively participates in fundraising efforts and charitable initiatives aimed at benefiting dogs and their well-being. She is passionate about children's cancer research. Amanda and Joe's family extends to three wonderful children, and their journey as parents has had its share of challenges, one of which was a diagnosis of cancer in one of their beloved children. This difficult experience profoundly impacted Amanda and ignited within her a deep interest in the field of children's cancer research. Since then, she has been a steadfast advocate for this cause, channeling her passion and resources into making a difference in the lives of young cancer patients and their families. In her commitment to children's cancer research, Amanda has displayed remarkable generosity. She has made substantial donations to St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital, an institution renowned for its dedication to finding cures and providing care to children battling cancer and other life-threatening illnesses. Beyond financial contributions, Amanda has actively promoted various fundraisers and campaigns aimed at raising awareness and spreading essential education about the different types of childhood cancers. Her efforts have not only provided support to those in need, but have also contributed to the broader mission of finding effective treatments and ultimately a cure for pediatric cancer. She likes spending time outdoors. Navigating the intricate dance of managing a thriving career, a bustling family life, and her various philanthropic endeavors, Amanda's days are undoubtedly packed to the brim. Yet in the midst of this whirlwind, she remains committed to nurturing her own well-being and indulging in the activities that bring her joy and serenity. One of Amanda's cherished pastimes involves immersing herself in the splendor of nature. Despite her demanding schedule, she finds solace in stealing moments to connect with the great outdoors. Whether it's the tranquil rustling of leaves in a nearby forest 
or the gentle lapping of waves against the shore of a serene body of water, Amanda delights in the simple pleasures of life. She often embarks on leisurely walks, allowing her to savor the beauty of her surroundings and bask in the natural wonders that envelop her. She is fairly private. While Amanda may be a familiar face on reality TV, she's anything but an open book when it comes to her personal life. In fact, she's quite the opposite, incredibly private and discreet. Amanda guards her personal matters closely, avoiding the spotlight and maintaining a low profile in the public eye. Not only does she prioritize her own privacy, but Amanda and her husband have also taken great care to shield their children from the prying eyes of the media and the public. Iron Resurrection is her only TV experience. While some individuals in the entertainment industry go to great lengths to remain in the spotlight, Amanda has taken a different path. As of today, her involvement in Iron Resurrection stands as her sole foray into the world of television. Whether or not she has intentions of pursuing further ventures in the entertainment industry remains uncertain, as Amanda has kept her professional future tightly under wraps. She loves a good adventure. While many individuals find comfort in sticking to familiar routines throughout their lives, Amanda's approach has always been different. She embraces the opportunity to step out of her comfort zone and explore new horizons. This fearless attitude has undoubtedly played a significant role in her ongoing success over the years. She likes to stay active. Maintaining her physical fitness is a priority for Amanda. Even amidst her busy schedule, she ensures that regular exercise remains a part of her daily routine. Exercise offers not only numerous physical advantages, but has also been scientifically shown to enhance mental well-being, providing valuable support in addressing issues such as anxiety and depression. And that's all for today's video. Amanda Martin's journey from the world of banking to the realm of custom car restoration on Iron Resurrection is a testament to her versatility and determination. Her decision to leave the show opened up new chapters in her life, from philanthropic endeavors to exploring new hobbies. The real reason behind her departure might be a blend of personal and professional aspirations. But one thing is clear. Amanda's positive attitude and commitment to various causes continue to inspire. What do you think about Amanda's career transition and her contributions to charity work? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more captivating content. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.